Welcome to another Digital Den mini class. Today, we are going to be talking about all things cricket pen. We all know that the cricket can do some great things when cutting, but what about drawing? Well, let's go ahead and open up our Cricut design space that we've got here and click on a new project and see what are some of the cool things that we can make here. Now, with the upload function, you can upload almost anything and be able to turn that into something that we could potentially draw, which we will get into in a later video. Today, we are going to be covering the basics. So we're going to be just jumping into the images here. Just clicking on browse all images and let's uh, scroll through some of the free options here until we find something that looks pretty interesting here. Scrolling, scrolling and okay we're getting into an area of something that could be fun to see uh, uh, be seen drawn here. Okay, here we go. We've got some animals going on here that could be good. Ah, bear. Yes, I always have liked bears. So let's go ahead and pick that one and click on add to canvas here. Now, the pre-selection for the Cricut is going to be your basic cut function, which you'll be able to see right here. Of course, you can go in and you can change the color to be whatever you want. So if you want a brown bear, there you go. But of course, the color function is just for visual appearance on the screen. It's not something that'll actually change uh, the color of <laughs> what you're going to be making, right? Um, so uh, what we can do is we can click on this drop down right here that says basic cut and change it to pen right here, and that will remove the color entirely and give us just an outline of the shape that we're cutting there. We can click on this box here, uh, and just like the other thing, um, you know, we can we can see the the difference in um, the colors there. So if I wanted it to be like a yellow line, a dark green line, etc. But of course, that's just for visual appearance. If we click on this here, we can uh, change uh, the uh, the difference in the uh, amount of weight and pressure, I guess, that we're putting on the, the, the pen there. Uh, there are a couple of different pen options, of course, that you'll have to use to be able to get some of these different ones here, but we're going to leave this at standard, just the regular old fine print option there. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bear. I'm going to bring this back to black, um, and um, the bear looks pretty nice. We can hit make it, and we can be good to go with our bear there, and it'll literally, all we have to do is we have to switch out the, uh, make sure that it is the, the pen and not the cut tool, and then uh, you'll be able to, um, you know, have it draw pretty much whatever you want, but that is not the only cool thing. Let's get into some of the cooler stuff that you can do with drawing. Uh, and that is layering some different drawing options here. So we're gonna go back into images. We've still got it on free. We're gonna scroll down a little bit here until we get back down to where those uh, the bear was. Okay, yep, we found our bear. Going even further down a little bit here, now we've got ourselves a football helmet here. Some of you may know where I'm going with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this over to the pen. And then we have got ourselves an opportunity to be able to put the bear on the uh, on the helmet here. And now we've got like a, a bear team themed uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, football team. Right. Um, and then what we can do is we can even add some text options here. Say like game time, something like that. Change the text over to the pen. Drag that down there, and what do you know? We've got yourself something that uh, that, that could be cool on, like, um, you know, if you're making like a poster or or um, I don't know something for like a fun event. Maybe you've got a football party that is going to be coming up, um, and uh, you you want to be able to draw, you know, every everybody's you know different jerseys or something like that, right? Click on make it. And just like I've talked about in other Cricut videos, whenever you click make it, it's going to reorganize things in the best way that it, it, it can to be able to make it so that everything has got its own space. But we don't want for everything to have its own space in this uh, particular function because we're not cutting stuff out. We don't want to accidentally over overlay the you know, the, the, the cuts and then mess up our, our vinyl or our, our card, card stock or whatever we're working with here. We actually want for the bear to go right there on top of the helmet. And we want for our game time to be underneath that. Now, if we want, we can of course move things around even more here. You know, if we wanted this to be centered, 
we could we could of course do that um, as our as our option there, and then uh, have game time right below that. And that looks pretty good, you know. You can throw that on whatever um, you know whatever background you want, use whatever color you want, and then that's going to turn out great. And that is just the beginning of some of the really cool Cricut drawing functions that you can do uh, with the Cricut Maker. Coming up in the next video, we will be talking all about uh, uh, pairing uh, the cutting and the drawing function on the exact same, uh, you know. Um, uh, uh, a place that's so on like the same material you can draw and cut at the same time it's a little bit more complicated so we're going to go all into that in the next video um, uh, but let me show you how this is going to turn out uh, so if you want to come into the digital den and give this a try uh, you can and here you go all right so here we are in the digital den i am taking my project from my personal computer and i'm bringing it over here to the digital den so that we can make this drawing happen I am uh, logged into my account, scrolling down to my recent projects here. I'm going to click on my Cricut Drawing 1 that I had saved, click on Make It, and there we are. We are, we are back into the Make It function here, so I can, uh, I can line this up just how I want, and I can move my, uh, my little guys there. There we go. That looks great. We're going to hit continue on this. We need to connect our machine here, so I've got to get that turned on. Our Cricut Maker is uh, connecting, and once that has connected here, it'll give us a couple options here and make sure that we're in the right space. Okay, so it's going to say set base material. We're just going to be using our standard old medium card stock there. It's going to let us know what tool we need to use here. So we need to make sure that we are using it, the, uh, the black pen uh, that, is, uh, th that we have here um, at the library. So I'm going to load that in, and then I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's printed. Okay, and so there you have it. Uh, a nicely drawn a little art project that we have here, all completed by the Cricut Maker. So if you would like something to have that hand-drawn look, but you have no artistic talent like me, the Cricut Maker is uh, gonna be able to do a great job uh, for you to be able to make that all come together. And there's so much more that you can do with the Cricut Pen. So uh, make sure that you stick around for the upcoming videos where we talk about uh, drawing and cutting on the same project and many other things that you can do with the Cricut Pen. And we will see you in the next Digital Den mini class. Bye!